Yeah, we about to wipe the fog off the mirror So you can see his reflection a little more clearer When it comes to life, everybody got their own objectives But we got to view Christ through the right perspective Yeah, we about to wipe the fog off the mirror So you can see his reflection a little more clearer When it comes to life, everybody got their own objectives But we got to view Christ through the right perspective Through the right perspectives, yeah Yeah, yeah, through the right perspectives Yeah, we got to view Christ through the right perspectives <laughs> The right perspective, yeah. Time. Through the right perspectives, yeah, we gotta view Christ through the right perspectives. Welcome to another Perspectives with Pastor Jay. As we're now in the heart of the holiday season, I thought it would be appropriate to deal with the issue of Christmas. Now, I'm speaking to Christian ministers and folks that are proclaiming to be uh, messengers of the gospel. And so it is important that we, as ministers of the gospel, make sure we are dealing in truth at all times. I was really saddened the other night to drive by a pastor's home and to see a blow up of Santa Claus in their front yard. Now, as Christians, we need to take a stand against the commercialism of Christmas but most particularly as ministers and pastors, it is disturbing to see us supporting this commercial made up being who is really taking the attributes of Jesus. As my daughters were growing up, they learned at an early age that there was no such thing as Santa Claus. In fact, I love telling the story of how one time I was visiting with them, we were on the road and we stopped at McDonald's and the cashier was like, oh, are y'all ready for Santa Claus to come? And they looked up at her and they were only about three and four and they said, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I said, who's Santa Claus? Mommy and daddy. And people try to think that young kids don't know how to handle the information and the fact that there is no Santa Claus. But we have to understand that what's happening when we prop up Santa Claus as this giver of gifts. We are putting him again in the place of Jesus, but we're also taking away the respect that children will have for their parents. If they understand that it's the parents that are working hard to give these gifts, and if they would learn at an early age what the real meaning of Christmas is, as we as Christians celebrate the birth of Christ, although we do realize that's not when he was born, but we take the time to celebrate the birth of Christ, and we can use it as a season of giving and of sharing with others. Now, mind you, we should do that year round. However, as the world does it, we as Christians should be at the forefront of giving and sharing and doing good works during this season. So I pray that as ministers, you would take the opportunity to teach your church what the true meaning of Christmas is. Also, you, if you care to look into the origins of the secular holiday or whatever, it's good to know that as Christians. So if you ever question, you can answer. But you really don't have to focus on the negative. As the story is always told, uh, FBI agents are never trained on what a counterfeit looks like. They are trained on what the original looks like. So when they see a counterfeit, they'll be able to immediately detect it. We as Christians need to teach Jesus so our people, whenever they see a counterfeit, they'll be able to immediately detect that it's not of God. This has been Perspectives with Pastor Jay. Uh, tune in next week. We're going to do one more week, and then we're going to take a couple weeks off for Christmas, uh, going on vacation, enjoying time with the family. But we'll be back uh, again at the beginning of the year. If you're watching this video on Facebook or on YouTube, we invite you to visit IamPastorJay.com as well as our other site, trulyblessedmedia.com. And we love to hear feedback. You can leave a comment on the IamPastorJay.com site, or you can leave comments here on YouTube. If you have a topic that you'd like for me to discuss, please email that to me. The email is listed after the credits. Thank you again for tuning in to Perspectives. We'll see you next time. God bless. Yeah, we about to wipe the fog off the mirror So you can see his reflection a little more clearer When it comes to life, everybody got their own objectives But we got to view 
through crates, through the right perspective Yeah, we about to wipe the fog off the mirror So you can see his reflection a little more clearer When it comes to life, everybody got their own objectives But we got to view Christ through the right perspective Through the right perspectives, yeah, yeah, yeah.